everyone welcome back to my channel today i have asked on twitter and instagram for you guys to send in any questions i'm gonna have a little q a session you know the drill if you want to participate in the next one make sure you're following me on social media something will be linked on the screen right now red expert says mean girls or clueless definitely mean girls is butter a carb the farmer's journal says what's your holy grail foundation i think my holy grail foundation has just been like knocked off the top spot to a new holy grail foundation i would normally say the by terry terribly danceless or Giorgio armani luminous silk but i bought both of those on holiday with me right now and i've only used my l'oreal infallible foundation it's like my new all-time favorite i've been pretty much using it every day since I bought it and it's like the perfect matte but luminous long lasting foundation the two kind of like pitfalls I think are the shade range is really poopy I mix two shades which is 104 and 106 so you do actually have to like seriously blend it into your skin it takes a bit of time to like work it in and now says what's your favorite handbag of the moment and I have two favorite handbags I know that's cheating but the first one is this Zara bucket bag I've been using the whole month I love it so much I didn't think I would love a bucket bag because I always think it's like quite a faff to like scramble through a bucket bag it reminds me of like being a little dog trying to like bury your bone or something because it's just like a big ball <laughs> of stuff inside I don't know where I'm going with this but actually once you can get past the scrambling for stuff because it's not actually quite a big bucket bag so you wouldn't actually have that much stuff to scramble through anyways it's a really great bag I love it it's so beautiful and then the second one is this clutch which is from Koku I bought it on sale I think it was half price on Shopbop and it's kind of like a really nice beachy kind of clutch it seems to kind of go with everything and it fits everything I need it even fits like a book in there and I've got so many compliments on it I love the giant palm tree as well Lexi Smith says what were you going to be called if you were a boy mummy what was I going to be called if I was a boy Charles, Charles. my dad's answer to that is you're called what you're called so there we go Lauren Griffith says what are your top three beauty brands and favorite product from each brand okay this is so hard I think my top three right now are Charlotte Tilbury L'Oreal Paris and by Terry um, I think let's go backwards now I think my favorite product from by Terry is the ombre black star I love them you can just like sweep them over your eye I love the shade bronze moon it's so gorgeous they're super easy they last so long they're like a really quick grab and go product but they're just oh they're so flawless I love them and then what was the other one L'Oreal Paris oh gosh I love everything from L'Oreal Paris um I think if I had to choose like one thing, it would be the L'Ombre Pure kind of um, single eyeshadows because they're so pigmented and they're amazing and the colors are like so unique. But oh gosh, I love everything. And the foundation I just mentioned um, and the lipsticks, the lip glosses. Am I just going to mention the whole range? Yes, I am. I think I'm going to do, do the same for Charlotte Tilbury. I love the Film Star Bronze and Glow, although I did say on Twitter the other day that my third one, I think, I think it was either my second, I think it was my second, has broken. And that's my fourth Charlotte Tilbury product that has broken. So it's kind of a bit annoying. I would say be very careful, like don't travel with your Charlotte Tilbury powders. I don't know if that's just me, but yeah, that's kind of a bit annoying. So I would have said Film Star Bronze and Glow. So instead I'm going to say, matte revolution lipsticks because they're really balmy and creamy and long lasting oh no and also lip cheat and pillow talk that's also a really good one Isabella Leclerc says if you could only wear one nail polish for the rest of your life what would it be I think it would be what is on my hands and toes right now and it's the Maybelline 24 7 super stay seven day thing in the shade uptown blue I have pretty much worn this like at least once a month for the past year and two months so it's like my number one nail polish I think it just looks nice all year round and it's such a bright color it's a really kind of uplifting blue Jodie says who is your favorite youtuber this month I have discovered Casey Nessie that I can't really I don't really know how to pronounce his last name but I'll link him below I've discovered his vlogs this month oh my gosh I've basically watched all his vlogs this whole month I'm obsessed with him he is 
he's just so fun he just seems like he's just I just love him I just love him and I love the way he vlogs and like I love that he said in one of his vlogs like he the aim of his vlogs isn't to share too much it's just like to make a film out of his day and I really like that about him and I just really like him and I like his mail time I'll just link him below go and check him out if you don't watch him someone says what is your bedtime hairstyle now shout out to Estee for the clip but I'm just gonna show you this here I basically take half off my hair like this and I push it to the front so that my hair doesn't go flat overnight and then that's it so it's kind of like a bit of a pecan pecan no that's a nut I don't really know what I look like you can tell me I look kind of look a bit like I don't know but then you wake up and it's kind of like everywhere the brunette salad said when you, you were younger did you expect to be doing the job of your dreams I didn't even expect YouTubing and like blogging to be my job when I started and I don't really think I even knew what I wanted to do when I was younger except when I was really young I probably said like pop star or something hilarious. Yeah I didn't really expect this to be my full time job which is like crazy that it ended up being that but no I never really expected it and I don't really think even in school or university I really knew what I wanted to do so I think if you know what you want to do from a young age you're really lucky but also don't stress if you're like going to do a levels and university and you're still not really sure what you want to do later on <laughs> Alexandra says have you ever blamed Duke for your own fart honestly I have not but I like the way you think Les Twelve says what is your most cringeworthy date experience well, I actually always tell this story. It's one of my favorite stories to tell. So when someone was like, do you regret going on that date? I'm like, no, because I got a really funny story. It was like the end of the date and I was like jolting out the restaurant like faster than, what's that really fast? Was it Popeye? I don't know, faster than like, you know those cartoons when they run and then like the air of smoke, there's like a little air of smoke after them, like literally faster than that. There was like an air of smoke after me running out this restaurant after this date and this guy was like following me to the cab and was like, oh, it was really great to whatever. I don't know, it was so awkward and cringe. I can't even remember, I was like dying. And I was like, yeah, like, bye. I like, did some like awkward double-handed wave thing to be like, please, I'm going bright red just thinking about it. Being like, please do not come near me. And he was like, yeah, it was really great to, and then like put his head in but I was like putting my head out and it ended up being like some awkward like forehead bang thing not bang but it was like some awkward sort of forehead like salute thing and it was so organized and then I just kind of like walked backwards to my car like waving being like okay bye <laughs> so awkward <laughs> look at me I'm bright red so that is everything for this Q&A session let me know if you guys have any more questions you can tweet them to me or leave them in the comments below and make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram I've been posting so many pictures on Instagram this month so I hope you guys have been enjoying them I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next video bye I had a question on Twitter the other day and it said, how do you change your mind in times when you're frustrated, angry, or sad? I think- <laughs>